Wow. I mean, I feel so bad for Shidoke. 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 <laughs> I feel so bad for her, man. I mean, this episode, I really fucking enjoyed this episode, honestly. I'm talking about Niseko episode three. Now, episode three, really, I'm assuming you saw the episode. This is just my thoughts on it, and I really fucking enjoyed this episode. We finally get to meet Shudage's mama, and that is Hana. <laughs> kind of rad, but kind of rad. It's about Christmas, you know, Christmas Eve. It's almost Christmas Eve. It's about Christmas Day. It's in the Christmas area. And Shidoke's mom always comes every year on Christmas Eve to spend time with the family. Of course, she's constantly gone. Raku makes us, you know, ask, like, where is your mama all the time? And she's always working. You know, busy mom. Like, she literally is all, always working. She has minute-to-minute meetings, minute-to-minute, a minute-to-minute schedule. This woman works so basically uh shiduke's dad pretty much says you know your mama wants to meet your boyfriend and of course roku comes and then roku finally meets shiduke's mom hana and i guess <coughs> hana's <coughs> pretty hot <coughs> so, i mean she's very you know for being a mom and having shiduke for a young age she is smoking hot what can i say it was a funny moment with her and Shidoke's dad, you know, having lovey-dovey. And Shidoke warns Raku that she is fucking scary. And this woman is scary. She enters the room. She entered the room in her fucking car still, in the limousine. And when she got out, she commanded that room. She was like a storm. A lot of funny moments. You know, Shidoke and Raku are just like, holy shit, this woman. So a lot of things. And, in, in, like, you know, she comes in. She the man's like, it's funny, he tells Shudeki's uh, father she he didn't make a deal, so she has her man take him to the library and get that deal done, or she's gonna, she's gonna do something to him. So you know why Shudeki always gets angry, because he gets it from her mama. I mean, she's not, ang- Hana is not very angry all the time, she's very calm, cool, collective, but don't mess with her, do not mess with her. It was very sad to see that, you know, Shudeki is just like, it's not really 100% always on Hana's mind. You know, she always, she makes reference to her ribbon, which uh, Shidege tells Raku before Hana enters that, you know, this ribbon is was given to my mom, and that's why mm. I love this ribbon so much. That's why I don't change it up, like, you know, the other day and stuff. I I, I, I love this ribbon. And Shidege, uh really just gets talked down by Hana saying, you know, that old thing, why are you wearing that? You know, I got you all kinds of these ribbons. Put something else on. So that was a very hard felt moment there it was funny to see Raku you know uh, Hana basically needs an assistant takes Raku wants to know if what kind of man he is so Raku is the assistant for Hana throughout the whole episode so funny I mean hey Raku man he looks looking sharp though with the hair slicked back looking very sharp dealing with all this hectic shit getting coke Disney products whatever you name it uh, Hana just whooping him, whooping that boy. At one point, Hana uses the Mr. and Mrs. Smith thing and uses that little harpoon, little line, little uh, grappling gun to get to one building to the next in order to take a meeting with less time. Very funny stuff. I really enjoyed this animation. I could already tell that this is something that is very rewatchable. Only three episodes in, but I, I could already tell I'm going to want to rewatch this again. Uh, very beautiful on the animation with uh, Shudege and Raku when they're talking, and you see, you know, a lot of the, the lot of that kind of silhouette, kind of background, you know, lights c- becoming brighter when Shudege is talking to uh, Raku. I really, this is the, this is when I always say, you know, if Raku does choose Shudege at the end of this, the whole thing. These are the kind of moments that really mean something, you know, when Raku knows that Shudege is down and out because of what uh, her mom said to her about the ribbon. I mean, those are the moments that you say, you know, these two are pretty good to to, uh, to one another, especially when Hana, when he she says that, you know, why don't you try to give her a call, uh, Shudege, to your mom and explain to her that you want to see her for Christmas Eve, not spend time with me, but see her because, you know, if... He does a good job. They get to spend time Christmas Eve at a five-star hotel. 
Shirige tries to do this, but of course Hana just says, work, work, work. I don't have time for you. Nobody else could do it as like me. So it, it, it was very it was very heartbreaking, especially when Shirige was taking off her ribbon and she was down and out. Raku was getting pissed. I was getting pissed. It was like, this woman is all about work and not about her child. So very, very heartwarming stuff. Very heartbreaking stuff. But great episode. It's great. But I still like Hana. Hana definitely has that commanding force to her. I really like her character design. Really good stuff. Animation is beautiful. Music's beautiful. The comedy's beautiful. The pacing was great. Great episode by uh, Nisekoi. And man, can't wait for the next episode. It's still going to continue with uh, Hana and everybody else. So thank you guys for listening. Subscribe, like, let me know your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy it? It's a uh, great episode, man. I really, I'm really loving the second season of Niseko. I think I'm starting to like it more than the first. So thank you guys for listening and see you later.